This is in continuation of my previous video about Touch OSC and how we can use that with DP. As many have mentioned, uh, OSculator is a great tool to put in between uh, Touch OSC and DP as now you can use keyboard commands and not just MIDI data uh, sent by your controller on your iPad or iPhone. So what you first will do is go to osculator.net and download OSculator. Once you've downloaded it and put it into your applications folder on your Macintosh, we will just go and open it. And until you pay for it, it's $19.99. It will come up every once in a while and ask you to register. So let's go here, OSculator. So it's stopped right now. This is the window you will get. Now first I will go to OSC Touch on my iPhone and double click the little dot to open my preferences and we will go to OSC and we will see the outgoing port here is 55045. So I'll go to OSculator and type in 5504. Four, five, and hit start. So now that's running. Let's go back to the iPhone and go to the main screen of Touch OSC. I still have my fat master fader there. Now say I want to add a button that controls DP. Say I want to make a button that adds another mono audio track to DP. So this is how we are going to do it. So first we will go back to our Touch OSC editor. And that's our fat master fader. Go into the black area, right click, and this time we will do a push button. Can move it somewhere. Can make it bigger if we want to. We can make a rectangular. All you see you can do this. What I forgot to mention in my previous video is that you can change the color of these by choosing from these colors here. So even if I click my master fader and say my master fader I would like you to do that to be orange, I can change the color there. So say we want a green button and we'll give it a name and I'll actually call it add new monitor track A. NTM, no spaces, all lowercase letters here. We will stay in OSC. Everything here is fine. So we'll save that. We already named this DP Master Fader. Now we'll click Sync. And once the sync comes up, go back to the iPhone, double click the dot to open Touch OSC's settings go down to the layout part open that click add once again select the server and now it'll say there's already an existing layout and it will be overwritten continue yes okay touch OSC go back done and now you'll see we have our green button there now let's turn sync off, go back to OSculator. It's running. Now you see it starts to pick up information from the iPhone. And if I move the fader on the iPhone, see now it added fader one, which is the name of our fader over here, fader one. And we also have, we have two of them because we also have the C plane of your sensi sensitivity, not just up and down. And then I click the button we just made, and now you'll see we have ANMT. -A so I can remember uh, the name. Let's go back here, the name, and this is where it is. Okay. Now, what I wanted this button to do would be add another audio mono track to my DP session. So I'll go over here, I'll click, I'll say 
what we're going to do is send a key combo and click here in value and click new this little window comes up so I'll type in the key combo for a new audio mono track is shift command A click red now it'll ask me what is my target and my target will be digital performer and my default target here I'll set that to digital performer 902 and close so now the server is running and we need to have the server running for this to work so we open this then we go to DP and I will go back to the iPhone and click the green button and there we go we are adding new mono audio tracks so anything that you have assigned to a shortcut in DP even this ridiculously uh, long shortcut for lyrics which is control option shift command L that you can do very easily with touch OSC and use OSculator to get to let's just try it so we'll go back to OSC editor we'll make another button right click in the black area choose a push button move it up there and by the way we can put a grid grid on here so we can nicely arrange these two to a grid we'll give this a name we want it to call lyrics give it make it gray everything else here is great we'll click save we'll click sync now go to our iPhone double click the dot to go to our settings go to layouts click add select our host OK to overwrite. Go back to Touch OSC, click Done, and now we see our gray button here and we moved over our master fader. Now we'll turn to OSculator and click the gray button, and you'll see it shows up here called Lyrics. And again, we will select the key combo and let's just check the key combo in DP so it is control option command shift and L so over in the value field we will select a new so we will do shift and all those modifier keys and L click the close button this will select for digital performer and we'll select digital performer 9 <coughs> 902 and close and now we go to dp hit the gray button and we'll see it goes and open the lyrics and so on and so forth you can make a whole total great keypad here that can totally um, automate your your DP. So this was just a quick intro to use OSculator as well.